Hello, Susanna here from The Good Property Company. You can probably hear some banging going on. Uh, even though it's Sunday, we've still got some work going on. All right, going to talk about pre-commencement conditions. Yay! <laughs> kind of important. And also pre-occupation conditions. Now, if you're new to planning, you might not know what, they, what those are. They are exactly as they sound. Pre-commencement conditions are the conditions that either the council, well, the council puts upon you to get um, sorted out before you can commence uh, doing the work. So on this house, now, okay, we've gone a little bit 60s and funky, but do you see? <laughs> look at the radiator. And, and so we're almost finished. You know, it's very funk, but look, we still got some work there to do. So this house is actually a Georgian and you'll be able to see, look at the beautiful windows. A lovely Georgian house, um, but we have actually uh, um, gone a little bit 60s in this room. We had a number of what you call pre-commencement conditions. So they were conditions that we had to satisfy before we could start the work. Um, so the, oh, here we go. So the windows, for example, uh, we had to have exact drawings of the windows and send them across to be approved before we were able to start uh, the work. We also had, oh yes, the render. So the outside of the house um, is a very, very soft, gentle pink. And because this is a, a, an, an old house, we had to actually do the outside of the render with lime. And then we had to paint it with lime wash. And we had to have the material that we we're gonna use for the render plus the color uh, approved in advance. And then the third thing, I think if you come with me, we'll go, um, and they funk. Um, the third thing is you can probably just see, can I help? There you go. Do you see the top of, um, can you see that? Yeah. So, um, there you can, you can still see me okay. Um, the third thing was uh, down there, we've got a, 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 an extension which um, came with planning permission, but the metal coping just around the top of the extension, the profile uh, that the architect had designed, the planners wanted to see a mock-up or a, a sample of the metal coping before we were able to even start the work on the on the extension. So those are three pre-commencement conditions that we had to satisfy, sometimes by showing drawings, sometimes by giving samples before we were able to start work. If you don't, well, you're in trouble, aren't you? So when you, when you take on uh, planning, just have a look for your pre-commencement conditions. Now let's talk preoccupation conditions. Um, should we go back to the 60s? This is quite good fun, back through here. <laughs> if, I, if I stand with these <laughs> out my head, do I look just a bit mad, a bit like reindeer? Okay, <laughs> let's go back this way instead. Right, now let's talk preoccupation conditions. I've only had this, I think, just maybe a couple of times, and the first time I had it, I need to tell you, I missed it. Um, so it was a bit of a shock. It was a house split into two flats, and we had already sold the first flat. So we, we had a few pre-commencement conditions, uh, which means, uh, like I just explained, you have to rectify them before you start the work. No problem, I'm used to that. I hadn't spotted the preoccupation conditions. Completely my mistake, or maybe I had, but with the length of the renovation, it had gone off my mind. So be really conscious of this, because, oh my goodness, I've never worked faster in my life. So it was a house split into two flats. We already sold one flat, and the new person was living in it. So the, to my mind, there was no problem at all. And then, oh, hang on, <laughs> here's Joe, look, sneaking. <laughs> Trying not to be caught on video. He's doing some work here today, even though it's Sunday. And then the second flat that thankfully the lawyer picked up that actually there was a pre-occupation condition of, frankly, the smallest solar panel you've ever seen in your life on the roof. Um, so, and that was probably they picked it up like the Thursday before the Friday that they were due to exchange and complete. We looked at the paperwork, had a bit of a meltdown, had a cup of tea and then found the fastest supplier of solar panels in the history of Bristol and put a solar panel on the roof, ticked off the preoccupation condition, and then the person that was buying the flat was able to buy it. So be conscious of both pre-commencement conditions and pre-occupation conditions, i.e. what you need to get signed off before you uh, start and what you need to deliver before someone can occupy. I hope that's useful. Speak soon. And Joe didn't get away by sneaking, did he? See you soon.